All right, let's go get some air real quick with a lunge. Woo! And back in. Clunk. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's exactly what I wanted with this creature. <laughs> I do wonder if I could, like, lunge my way over a waterfall and land safely on the other side. It seems really dangerous. All right, bub, you ready? Got our angle. Sprint and lunge right here and go. Uh Hello everybody and welcome back to the J72 Gaming Channel. My name is Jacob, you all can just call me Jay here. We're back at Path of Titans once again with Bub, our uh, Kai Wekia. <clears throat> this is on the Divine Beast server, guys. So, like, if you haven't seen part one, <laughs> I recommend you guys go watch that. But like part one, we are on the Vi Divine Beast servers, which means it has five times growth, which allows us to grow a little bit faster. Uh, quite, quite literally five times faster. <laughs> so let's go ahead and dive in here and continue our adventure from last time, shall we? Okay, we logged off right in the open, kind of, uh, more or less, like right in this lake. Let's go ahead and open the map, see where we are. So we're like right in the middle of the map, which I think is kind of fun, uh, but a little dangerous because we're not fully grown. Um, people did tell me in the comments, and I have seen since last playing, uh, that there is an ability that I want to get for this guy. Is it in the legs? Beachcomber. Oh, this is cool. This is the one I was coming in here to show you guys, but let's check out the abilities while we're here. So the Beachcomber, type legs, improves land speed, allows time on land, um, the longer time on land, and stamina regen while on there. That's kind of cool. And then there's the barrel roll. Quickly dart forward in a roll, damaging things in your path. That's really cool. So both of these are going to be expensive. We'll see how much, um, we'll see if we even have the marks for that. And then tail has the lunge. This is what I came in here to show you guys. This is the lunge. So in the first episode, I was hoping that you can kind of like do the dolphin dive, right? And keep breaching in and out of the water. With this, you can essentially do that. So let's see, that one's 300. We'll just, we won't even check. We'll go ahead and grab that right now. And then we need to be sleeping. How do I sleep with this guy? Can I sleep on the bottom of the uh, water here? Water of the seafloor. No, I can't hit. Oh, yep, there it goes. Okay, lunge confirmed. And I guess I'll put that in the, the right click. Why not? Works for me. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's start off this episode with a nice lunge. You guys ready to test this? Here we go. <laughs> Woo! Nice. That's actually kind of like exactly what I wanted. A little, little barrel roll, too. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, so I think the best uh, bet for us now, since we're not fully grown yet, is let's escape this river and get back out to the ocean. And we'll continue our adventure kind of like west and north up to this area. We got a few quests that we need to knock out. Not too many. Again, like I said, it's times five growth on this server. So we should be there pretty soon. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, keep our head down. There's probably going to be a lot of people fully grown. In the last episode, you guys saw I was chased by two other Kaiwekias. Um, so I'm a little nervous for sure to, to head out into the open ocean again, because um, that's where we saw them. Um, so yeah, I'll keep my head on a swivel. And uh, let's get this uh, adventure for today underway, shall we? Now, guys, since last playing, I played a, a little bit more on this map. I even played a little bit of a Sukomimus kind of on my own downtime. Um, I did record it, so you guys might see some footage of that in the future. Um, but that was just kind of for me just to sit down and enjoy the game. Um, I'm a content creator for this game, but I'm kind of a fan first and foremost. Um, so, yeah, played a little bit. And what I learned on that is when you're underwater, right, it's kind of hard to turn around. You got to, like, turn your camera and then your creature kind of wants to turn. But if you're actually in the water specifically and you hold your uh, precise movement, which is X by default, I believe, uh, I changed mine to left alt. It actually allows you to kind of turn the camera while you still have to, like I'm now pressing S, if you can believe it, on the, on the keyboard. So I'm telling the creature to come towards me. So you kind of have to move your movement with the way you turn your camera, if that makes sense. It's easier in practice um, when you figure it out and have hands on. But essentially, yeah, you can turn around without losing momentum as long as you hold the alt button and kind of steer your, steer your creature in the direction that you want it to go, um, which is very handy because uh, all last episode, I think I was turning around just the default way and it kind of slows you down. And so checking checking around and checking your, uh, your corners and see if there's another creature nearby is pretty dangerous if you're slowing down. Uh, so yeah, use the alt button and you guys can... Uh, can look around which is awesome i hear someone big oh that's not what we wanted to see that is a big crocodile and we gotta go past him okay we're gonna lunge past him ready guys he's probably gonna get in the water here i think he's just up there let's lunge past him <laughs> where is he did he get in no oh, he's just resting there 
He's got a very vibrant blue skin. That's pretty exciting. All right, well, he can't he can't chase us down. So let's just uh, leave him in the dust, shall we? <laughs> leave him in the wake. <laughs> All right, back in open ocean. Feels good. Don't have to worry too much about crocodiles and spinos in the rivers. <laughs> It is really cool. I did actually see a clip of somebody um, taking this creature. So off of that waterfall that we started the episode at and ended the last one, you actually can kind of walk on land with these creatures and get up and around. It's it's not perfect. Like, obviously, here, I'll show you guys. It's not great, and you're kind of slow. Obviously, you can spec into that, which we just learned, which I do think is, is pretty cool. But yeah, you kind of just waddle, see? And it's very slow. Even with sprinting, you're just kind of like, ugh, ugh. So... <laughs> And I think you have a, a breath meter when you're out of the water um, or it's more like lack of water brings your health down. So you can't be out there for too long, um, but it is kind of cool that you you could you could be out of the water for longer with with some specking. Um, I'm not going to do it. I like the water, <laughs> but it's it's cool that the options there for sure. All right, we are back. We have entered the kelp forest once again. We need to deliver a pearl down to what's the map say down right there okay so last episode we were kind of in the southern section of the kelp forest when we bumped into um those other kaiwekias so i'm gonna try to get this quest done because we do need to do quests um on the server which i like um and while we're on that let me talk about that so i've played on the official servers a lot which is obviously times one growth i've played on this server which is divine beast has uh five times growth and then i've played on some other servers that have 10 times growth and passive growth and i've come to learn that i really appreciate uh the five times growth it seems to be that you need to take about an hour and a half to to three hours somewhere in that range depending on how fast you do it um to get fully adult and i really appreciate that it actually it feels like you have time to grow and you're still a little creature for a while um but you do get big quickly and so in just two nights of playing you can actually kind of have a full experience with the creature or three nights if you want an entire day uh logging on to um the creature where you are fully grown so it's kind of it's got a good balance and i really appreciate it i don't know if it's my um all-time favorite way to play because i do really enjoy the slow burn and uh um, kind of long experience that you have with the official servers but i ain't gonna lie for youtube this five times is quite perfectly what i need it allows us to do one or two or three episodes with the creature um kind of get the full experience and it doesn't take me you know 10 to 20 hours just to get a creature uh big enough that i can kind of show it off to you guys so i'm a big fan of this uh server and i will definitely keep you playing on this one uh or other times five servers in the future so i recommend it all right but i gotta find we saw the drop off spot when i was talking um but we need to find a clam i did find one um last time i was playing uh, they are very much hidden. <laughs> They're actually in clams that you got to go up and find the pearl. Uh, so let me get hunting for that. Uh, there might be one kind of like up here on the rock. That's where I was having luck with the um, the anemones. Let's see anemones. <laughs> These guys, they're pretty much always there. So I'm hoping, hoping I can find a clam kind of hanging out with all these other uh, collectibles. Now wish me luck. <laughs> Uh, it's not a clam, but that is a sea turtle shell, which is interesting. I'm wondering if I'm kind of in the right area. Ooh, spiny conches. Those are new. I haven't seen those before. Okay. I also saw when I was playing my uh, my Suko, there's a quest. Oh, sea snails. That's also new. Wow, okay. Um, when I was playing my Suko, I actually found a, a quest that was like, collect rocks, and it was very difficult because there's rocks everywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was more specifically like, big piles of black rocks which was which was kind of interesting all right let's go get some air real quick with a lunge Woo! and back in Clunk. oh that's awesome <laughs> that's exactly what i wanted with this creature <laughs> i will say guys kind of questing with this guy is a whole different experience it feels for obvious reason it feels kind of like subnautica if you guys have ever played that game um i played that game very very early in its lifespan before it had like all the all the expansions and updates and stuff uh, it was very much like the first few months it ever came out and released in like early access or demo state whatever it was uh, i played it um so i probably should go back and be a fun fun game to go back but this whole experience of kind of like searching the ocean floor and just kind of being in a way a marine creature and now obviously this game very much a marine creature 
um it's got a cool it's got a cool vibe you know i uh i like the quests that kind of make you search around it makes you feel like a creature that's foraging um and that's kind of always been the vibe i've gotten with these quests you know a lot of people are like oh these path of titans quests are just so tedious and stuff and it's like well yeah but like you're foraging and so it might not make perfect sense like why would a kaiwekia search for a pearl to deliver to a specific spot but it's also a video game right so <laughs> you gotta kind of merge those together and the game systems exist to give you a feeling as a player and uh that feeling is to more or less kind of feel like a foraging creature which is cool man i'm uh not gonna lie guys i'm having difficult finding any clams and i'm not even positive that every clam is gonna have a pearl in it um so this is looking to be a little tedious <laughs> we might have to just kind of move on with our day here um, luckily we do have a little bit of passive growth on this server so you can see that i'm about to hit sub adult so i think because we're gonna hit sub adult i'm just gonna kind of uh salute this quest uh adieu and uh say see ya and let's go see some new sites because we were in the kelp forest at the end of uh, last episode anyway so um, we've already got some some action and kind of a chase scene <laughs> uh at my expense um last episode but there it is you have reached the sub adult growth stage let's take a look at this guy now has he gotten much bigger bob's on the top of the surface of the water look at him what up bub you know what bub it's time to let out a roar I love how long that roar is. It just keeps going. <laughs> All right, onward. Woo! <laughs> All right, so glancing at the map as we're cruising along here, it looks like we've got... Um, this might still be the kelp forest. It's hard to say. Um, although it's probably going to say it's like a waystone location. But it doesn't look like it will be too different of a terrain until we kind of get around the corner here and i'm expecting this to be like look at this this is like a giant canyon which might be really cool it's like a deep crevasse and actually look it continues like kind of the whole way all the way north um all the way north actually wow up until the map border so that's cool so let's go ahead and check out the ocean canyon and uh see what that's all about ow Dang, I was just hanging out cruising. Oh, got to be careful coming down all these lunges. I can actually injure myself. Rough. <laughs> okay, but we're, uh, so we're kind of coming up on this uh, super deep canyon. As you can tell, nothing's really here. Let's get down there, though. Um, departed the kelp forest. Let's say, okay, we don't have a don't have an area location name right now, but yeah, it's getting deep oh man luckily now that we're bigger and that we have this lunge i'm not too afraid of like breath i can kind of i can get up there super quick um but yeah let's see how dark it gets this is easily the deepest we've been ever i did not go this deep last episode wow it gets actually like really dark i'm wondering if some of the creatures they're gonna come out with can actually like survive down here for a very very long time i think it'd be really cool if we had some like bioluminescence kind of creatures that hung out here of course we need quests down here it looks like it's pretty barren um but yeah nobody's finding me down here that's intense man Woo! you can also tell um on the mini map there i'm at the edge of the map so i think i am gonna have to climb here to get uh away from the edge of the edge of the wall but this let's check the map for real yeah see where i am this is the official start of this very long like ocean canyon and that begins right here so let's go ahead and cruise down here hopefully we'll get a uh like a new quest in this area in uh sweet water shallows i'm sure we'll get a new quest here welcome to sweet water <laughs> so despite the fact that we were just very very deep in the ocean right now obviously we're in the shallows and it's not we're not that deep at all or far off from the uh the, the water there or the land i should say so it's very interesting that even though we're kind of squished up against the side of the map, um, we're stuck in like this shallow little ravine. I thought this would be much deeper, but it seems to be just kind of like, yeah, like a little ravine, a little uh, traveling path, if you will, for uh, subaquatics, kind of like a highway. Um, speaking of that, though, I hope I don't bump into too many people then. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> okay, we did get our quest, though, for uh, Sweetwater, which is to find some rocks. Here's the rock quest I was talking about. Ah, and here we go. 
I believe that this is what I'm looking for. Yeah, okay. So take a good look at this, guys. That's what the rock piles look like. It took me a very long time, like I said, as my Suko to even like notice what it actually looked like. So the big pile of rocks kind of in this feature and then you collect them one by one. So gonna be hard to find them, but they seem to always be kind of black rocks. Uh, not quite obsidian, but maybe, I don't know, maybe some graphite looking rocks <laughs> but i'm gonna go ahead and uh collect my 35 here and that should give us a lot of growth all the way up to adult and i'm thinking now that i'm adult i want to start hunting out things to things to hunt like this oh, i thought, thought that lunge was supposed to hurt oh almost got him that was pretty cool man I should have bit instead of lunge. Does lunge not do damage? Did I have that wrong? Let's see. I might have had that wrong. Hail, lunge forward and water. Right. Okay. So what I would have needed to do was the barrel roll. Quickly dodge forward, damaging things in your path. Okay. So I did the wrong. I had the right idea, but I did I did it wrong. Oh, this guy look. He's on the beach. Can I can I beach myself? Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. <laughs> I'll land. I'll beach myself. <laughs> <laughs> I can't not laugh at the the sounds they make. Uh, he got lucky. I'll be real. He got lucky. <laughs> As I was saying, though, is yeah, I'm going to start looking for uh, some kills and see if I can maybe go up rivers and try to um, launch myself at some things and, and get people unsuspecting. Um, or maybe even come across some uh, other Kaiwekia players that are still a little bit smaller and hunt them down. I know cannibalism is sometimes frowned upon uh, by by people, um, but hey, it is it is what it is. There's only one aquatic creature, fully aquatic creature, uh, that I'm really going to find down here. Um, but of course, there's also Sukos and Spinos and Sarcos and Dinochiruses and Megalanias and, and now the birds, the Thalassodromius, I think. <laughs> that is her names, man. You gotta say them a bajillion times before they really, like, get stuck in your brain. <laughs> Alright, this rock quest seems pretty easy, though. They're, they're just keep... They keep putting them kind of in this ravine here at certain certain spots, so... Not bad at all. This here, though, I was talking about in the last episode of that stormy weather, the intro, and that was a vibe. Down here in the rocky crevasse is definitely a vibe these guys are cool man they give you they give you a, a really cool feeling that you haven't been able to feel in this game and i really i just genuinely appreciate that it's just really cool to have a different vibe right a different way to play all right quest done let's woo, see what it looks like up here oh it's nighttime now look at that i didn't even notice <laughs> couldn't tell underwater <laughs> but it is now night all right, so looking at the map here, we're very much on the western section, kind of up above from that ravine, which is cool. Um, there's a whole area over here that seems to be just for aquatics, um, complete with a home cave and a waystone. So I say we go take a look at that. Um, it does want us to go to the Golden Kelp Forest, which does sound really cool. Maybe we'll kind of end up over there. But I would also like going up the rivers, maybe to the, the swamp here would be an interesting place. So we'll see what happens. There's a few cool places for us to check out now that we're getting uh, huge for the end of this episode here, for, for the rest, I should say. Um, but yeah, I am going to go, I'm going to go north to this area. I just kind of see what it's called, see what it's got. Maybe it's got the final quest we need, um, to get fully adult. Uh, cause we do need marks. How many marks do we have? We have, yeah, 720. So we're going to need some marks cause I want, I do want to get that barrel roll so I can actually hit people in the water with a, like a barrel roll. I'm, I wonder if one barrel roll is enough to damage a, uh, full adult, uh, flyer. Um, not sure, but, um, it would be cool to find out, right? <laughs> Okay, crossing over to this new area. Looks like it's going to be called... Oh, wait. I just left. <laughs> that place back there was Seagrass Bay. What is this going to be called? Sanctuary Isle. Interesting. Probably this big one is, is what's being called Sanctuary Isle. Hmm, okay. We need a lake sponge, which actually should be very, very easy for us. But peep our head up here. Kind of see what's going on. So this is like the small sandbar. Yeah, so this over here... Yeah, this over here is the actual Sanctuary Isle. Let's get a little bit closer to that, uh, and I'll search for some sea sponges on the way. All 
All right, guys. So the sea sponge quest was actually for that place we were in very quickly. The the bat, seagrass bay, I think it was called. Uh, Sanctuary Isle also actually wants us to get an anemones. <laughs> sea anemones. Um, but I'm going to say screw that because if you guys look at our food, we're getting kind of low. Um, and I haven't really seen any reliable food out here in the ocean. Um, so we're going to have to kind of dive into this river here. And I'm thinking we go up this river and into the, into the marsh. It's going to be a little bit dangerous for sure. There's crocs and, and you know, a lot of the semi aquatics are going to be over there, but we're getting pretty big. And I do just generally kind of want to have some interactions with players. Oh. Sea turtle. Oh, speaking about things that we couldn't get. Oh, is this? Oh, I remember them saying, look for some stuff that you can tell. Okay, yeah. So if you see this grass up above, like the floating grass, you'll know that underneath is some fish that you can eat. Very cool. I do remember them saying that. So this, whoops. I remember I got a long neck. And get it. There we go. Um, yeah, so that hey, that solves our, our food issue. Let's go ahead and eat this trout. I doubt it's going to be all of our food. Oh, it's actually quite a lot of our food. Wow, it actually is all of our food. Holy crap. Okay, wow. Uh, I do want to know, for curiosity's sakes, can I kill and eat sea turtles? I can. <laughs> Very easily, actually. <laughs> okay. Uh, wow, I wasn't quite expecting that. Here, well, I don't need this food, so maybe I'll, uh, I'll put it on the beach and then some... Uh, some lucky terrestrial will come down here and be like, oh, check it out. Free sea turtle. <laughs> Put this guy right there. Oh, underground. Okay, well, it's a little it's a little buried. <laughs> Someone's got to come here and do uh, go digging for treasure. <laughs> okay, well, I still think for fun. Uh, let's go up the river. Let's go to the marsh. Let's go to the swamp. Let's see. Maybe there's some baby crocs. Maybe there's some some things going on uh, that we can uh, have some fun with. So let's go ahead and get into the river system. Hoi! Woo! It'll always be fun. All right, guy. Here is the turn in for the river. Let's go ahead and peek our head up. It is nighttime, so I'm not too concerned. But, uh, who knows what's going to be ahead of us, right? Now, I got to keep in mind when going through here, I shouldn't be too scared. I am, what, two bars away from full adults, so I am, I am not small at all. I am large and in charge, and I'm very much what a lot of people are afraid of in the water right now um, obviously everyone's very aware that the kaiweki is a new playable creature and so a lot of people are messing with it um also it gets a little shallow here look at that i have to come all the way up to the top let's stay underwater <laughs> but yeah i can be i can be a bit of a predator right now i can be a bit of a, a stalking predator so hopefully let's uh, see let's see what we can get into okay immediately i hear footsteps but they're up this ridge. I don't think we're going to get whoever that is. But there are players around. All right, welcome to Sharp Tooth Marsh. This is an incredible marsh, and it's actually like a, a swamp, unlike some of the uh, other swamps in Panjura, like the mire comes to mind. This place is actually deep enough to swim in. There's lots and lots of little islands for uh, crocs and other creatures to run around. I, I came through here on my Struthi, in the past, it was it was genuinely difficult getting around because there was so much water. Uh, so this is a good place for us right now. Ooh, here are pteranodons. They're laughing at me. They're like, "We're not gonna land!" <laughs> I'll tell you what, guys, the swamp is pretty quiet. Besides that flyer I heard. And the guy up the ridge that's coming in, it's been very peaceful in here. Very relaxing, very calming, very chill. But not what we're looking for right now. We're looking for action. <laughs> oh, I heard action. There's somebody walking. Sounds very small. I don't know if they stopped moving because they heard me, but that's likely. Yeah, no go. I had definitely heard some some footsteps, but he 
You stayed safe. Also, that is blinding. Ugh. It's so bright on my screen. Like, actually looking into the sun. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna go down here. This looks like a fun place to go. Um, there might be a few waterfalls? I'm not really sure, but we'll kind of head down the river and just, just see what's going on. Okay, here's our first obstacle. Is this a waterfall? Oh, it is very much, very much a large waterfall. Can I get around is the question. I'm wondering. Let's uh, observe the map a little bit here. Hmm. Doesn't look like it'll be a short route around. It looks like it'll be all the way over here, which I don't know if I can make, if I'm honest. We could try jumping up, but I don't think I can jump that high. <laughs> I'm pretty, pretty darn positive I cannot jump that high. Darn, I really want to get up to that water up there. That looks like a really good place to be. Hmm. Maybe I can look around a little bit. Oh, actually, guys, look, I think if I go up here and up that little route right there, I don't know if I can make it, but that looks pretty direct. So uh, here we go. Kaiweki land challenge. Let's see if I can make it. This this really makes me want to get that uh, that unlock that makes me a little bit faster on the land, but I don't have the mark, so we're just going to have to try to waddle our way up there and hopefully the terrain works for us and we can actually get up there. <laughs> This would also be the worst time for like a T-Rex or something to come around the corner. That would suck. All right, can we squeeze through here? Please tell me. Uh, come on, come on. Yeah, there you go, bud. All right, get going, get going, get going. All right, now we're coming up to the steep section. My head's completely underground. Uh, I don't know. This looks really steep. I don't know if creatures can get up this. Come on, bub. Oh, this is going to be glitchy mess. No, uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, guys. This is going to be a struggle if I do. Can I jump? I can't jump. Uh oh, now I'm like stuck, stuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I asked for this. Oh, there. I'll turn save me. Woo. OK, but I think we're going to have to call that a failure. Um, I can last a little bit longer out of the water than I thought. You see my water bar going down there. So it's like a minute, two minutes or something. So I might actually be able to find another route around, but that point of access is not going to work for us. Okay, guys, so I'm studying the map here and I see two routes that we can go. Uh, if you watch my cursor here, I think I can kind of swim around to right here and then kind of go up through here. And I think this route is possible. It's hard to say because it's, it's hard to say, but it might be possible. And then I can kind of squeeze my way through here and that might be good. The other way is uh, kind of swimming around over here, and this looks more gradual if I come up this way. That way is for sure, but it looks longer of a walk. So I don't know. I think I'm going to try... I'm going to try this one over here <laughs> and see if that's uh, going to work for us. Okay, this is a gamble, guys. Up ahead of me looks like a little bit of a cave, and on the map it looks like that cave might wrap around up top. Uh, so I'll give me 10 minutes of waddling here and I'll let you guys know if it worked. <laughs> okay, good news. I think this route's going to work. Uh, bad news is I am out of stamina and I can't, it doesn't let me sit, uh, when I'm, when I'm out in the water here and our water is dropping dangerously fast so i'm committed at this point i hope we don't die <laughs> if we do hey it is what it is um but yeah this will get us up and then we'll probably be one of the only uh kaiwekia up in the uh up in this river complex here oh geez okay after I've, I've come around the corner and this seems to be leading me back the way I was. I hope the map kind of makes it look like it goes straight to the water, so it might be exactly what I need, but I'm just kind of blindly following the route here. <laughs> Luckily, I'm confined, so I don't think I'm going to run into too many other uh, players over here, but I'm sure I'm making tons of noise. Guys, I see it. Salvation, we're totally going to make it. 
Yes, I was I was a little concerned I'd die, but you see it right up there. There's water and we're only at half. So we are making it. Heck yes. Also, we have fully reached adult. Woo. Good job, bub. Heck yes. I don't know if you guys ever thought you'd see a Kaiweki hit full adult in the middle of a canyon at half water and zero stamina, but here we go. <laughs> oh, we are so close. Now we got to go out into the beaming sun. This would suck. This guy's so dehydrated. I can just hear him wheezing. He's like, water. I need it. <laughs> Yo, speaking of water, guys. We have not had a uh, sit back, kick back. What's your snack section of the video, which is where I ask what you guys are eating, what you guys are drinking uh, today. I've got some lemonade and it is very delicious. Uh, it's got pulp in it for sure, because I think good lemonade has all of the bits and nonsense in there, uh, but not OJ. I like pulpless OJ. I don't know. I'm weird like that. But anyway, I'm having lemonade. Let me know what you guys are drinking down below. And uh, hopefully very soon, Bub here will also be drinking some water. <laughs> Cheers. We did it. Yes, it is fresh water. The water is zero quality, which I hope. Yeah, it doesn't affect us as long as we are in water. We're good. Awesome. Look at that. Yes, I am very pleased with that. So now we have access to all of this, and I hope that's not a waterfall coming up. So we might we might have a lot of waterfalls to deal with, but we are here now. <laughs> I do wonder if I could like lunge my way over a waterfall and land safely on the other side. It seems really dangerous, but it might be something we have to do. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, here we are. Just like I thought, immediately coming up against a problem. A little. Oh, this one's not even that bad. Can I go under this? I cannot go under this. OK, we need to jump. We need to jump it. I could also walk around it, but that's not nearly as fun. So we are going to jump it. All right, bub, you ready? Got our angle. Let's uh, get a little bit of a vision. OK, there it is. All right, I think I got this. Let's go charge forward and dive. OK, landed on top, but we made it. <laughs> OK, well, now that we're in this pool, there is a waterfall up that way, which would be sick to go around. That looks like a really good water area. Um, there's also this area here, which is actually the river we started the episode. We were, yeah, we were right here <laughs> when the episode began. So we just did a full lap of the map, which is exciting. Um, so I think I should try to get up these waterfalls. I hesitate though, because there's two of them. Oi. Yeah, okay. All right, screw it. I'm going for it. I really wish I had the beachcomber thing, but I don't. So we're going to have to walk. Although I think I can give myself a bit of a, uh, Actually, can I lunge up it? I got to try lunging up it, right? I don't think it's going to work, but we're going to try it. So let's get us a little bit of speed here. We're going to stay low and then we're going to aim up and lunge. Oh, that didn't work at all. Whoa. Oh my gosh. That was glitchy and did half my HP. Oh man. Oh man. Don't try that at home. <laughs> all right, here we go. Once again. Time for more land walking. Didn't expect to be doing this today, but here we're at. Here we're at. I can't talk. Here we are. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> it's taking a very long time, but I made it. We made it up to the top river. Uh, obviously, there's that second waterfall, which is going to be a problem, but I want to get in here and I want to uh, get down here as uh, quick as I can and can I let's see rest I'm not sure how the resting works. Maybe you have to be on like a flat section to rest Yeah, pressing H doesn't always seem to make me sit and fall asleep I was obviously able to do it earlier in the episode, but I can't right now. Oh, buddy That is a very large t-rex and I'm in a very bad spot for this uh, I'm trapped. I am very much. Oh gosh. There's two of them <laughs> I'm gonna duck down yeah, he sees me. He's like, hmm. Oh, man, big old T-Rex. No way I like win this, right? I let them pass. I can't attack a T-Rex in here. But maybe I want to. Maybe I go for some nips. Nip, 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 nip. I'm not even hitting them. There we go. <laughs> 
Nom, 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 nom. I probably shouldn't have made an enemy. He didn't look, he didn't even care. <laughs> yeah, he absolutely did not care. He's just like, stupid guy, wacky. I'm nibbling on my toes. <laughs> well, I need to let them pass because I need to come from where they were. So let's, oh man, let's scout this out. Yeah, I need to go all the way over here, up, and that will get us there, which is doable because I made this journey. So no, I know I can do that. Uh, but I am a little worried about these T-Rex players, <laughs> especially because I just made a made an enemy out of them. <laughs> okay, uh, I think the T-Rex players are gone, or at least they're far enough the way that I don't hear their footsteps. So I'm going to hopefully go for this, and they don't hear my footsteps. Actually, I just heard them growl. So they're okay. They're they're over there. But here goes. I gotta I gotta do what I gotta do. And if we die to a T Rex, uh, I kind of asked for it. <laughs> why? Why am I doing this? <laughs> this is so silly and so risky. Oh, look at that! It's a burrow. I could disturb. Uh, I could do some hunting. I don't know if I'll be able to chase down the the critter, but I, I could disturb it and have it run around. <laughs> All right, we seem to be okay with the T-Rex. It doesn't quite seem like they're coming back for us. So we are unfortunately going to run out of Stam, but we just need to... We've made it about halfway, so we're just going to turn the corner, go up, and get back to the water. We're also running low on food, so... Whew. And I also do know we're running kind of long on the video, um, but uh, I'm just going to have this be a long episode. I hope you guys are still interested. I hope you clicked on it. Obviously, you're here and watching it. <laughs> Sometimes I feel longer episodes... Um, don't always get as many views, but the people who do watch them tend to really appreciate that they're long. So overall, it's like kind of a, it works, right? Um, it's better for you guys, probably a little bit less good for me view wise, but hey, I, I'm here to have fun, right? And I hope you guys are here to enjoy it too. Uh, view count for me, it's obviously important, but it's not, it's not the end of the world. But hey, if you are here, maybe like the video, help boost it out to more people. And even though this video is long, They'll click on it and appreciate it and join the squad, you know? And we have more people here to watch me do stupid stuff like this. <laughs> okay, here's that uh, little last bit of the hill. You got it, bub. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> All right, guys, this is silly. This is ridiculous. But as, as I've said before, if you get to a Vista view and you're playing a dinosaur game and you do not cry, you do not roar, you're simply playing the game wrong. So, we're here at a Vista view. <laughs> and even if we're aquatic, we're gonna make use of that Vista view. <laughs> Alright, now scoot! Get to the water! Ooh wee! Alright guys, that took... That took a while, I ain't gonna lie. But, uh... I did it. Made it to the top of the waterfall, made it to Titan's Pass, and now, <laughs> we should, I would assume, be the only Kaiwekia anywhere near here. The water quality is zero, which is unfortunate because um, other people aren't going to be hanging out here and drinking the water. That could potentially be prey, but we don't need that. We are fine and we have made it. The Titans Pass, or I guess it's Green Hills is, is more specific. I need fish though, so I'm really hoping even though the water quality is zero that there are a few fish hanging out. Otherwise, we are cooked. Uh, this is cool though. Looks like there's... Yeah, there's like some... Uh, some rock formations and stuff underwater. Lots of detail in the water uh, that I, I I just really appreciate in this game. No fish. I need to find the fish. Ooh. Or do we need to find fish? Who do I hear? I hear somebody walking. Yeah, the person I hear is uh, down below back where we came from. So we actually made it just in time. Somebody, maybe even those T-Rex are coming back. Uh, but I'm going to cruise a little bit down here. Again, we need fish ASAP. And I would love to try to nom on something. But it seems so kind of rare to find another player in the waters. Um, like, I haven't come across any crocodiles. Haven't come, Well, except in the beginning. But out in open sea, it's pretty rare. Again, I, I wish there's a few more aquatic creatures in the game. Uh, that would really make these areas pop with life. But, uh, hey, it is what it is. Okay, guys. This may get me killed. But we've had a long journey. We've gone up a lot of waterfalls. I think for the sake of fun. <laughs> I'm gonna go for this. This is the waterfall. Maybe we should check our landing before I, go, I do this. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump the waterfall and try to land down below. 
Um, I think I can clear this if I come in, you know, at the right angle here and I hop up and I lunge. I think I can clear this. What are we looking like? Okay, yeah, we got to really make that. Oh, look at that. What is that? That is a T-Rex trying to get across. Yep, another T-Rex trying to get across. Okay, I'm going to let him know that I'm about to do something stupid. Hey, buddy. Watch this, dude. All right, ready? We're going to go for it. <laughs> this very likely can get us killed. Very, very, very likely to get us killed. But there's no fish up there. I really don't want to walk around. Hey, so for the sake of the video, here here goes nothing, right? All right, bub. Let me back up a little bit more. Give some actual speed here. Okay. Cowabunga, here we go. Make sure I play this right. I got to launch at just the right angle right about here. Oh, that didn't work at all. Round two, round two. Try again. Reset. Okay, I need to launch a little bit earlier because the launch animation takes a little bit uh, uh, some time to kind of get up to speed here. Let's go ahead and sprint and lunge right here and go. Uh, oh. <laughs> we did it. Nice. <laughs> we'll let this T-Rex know like, hey, bud, I'm down here now. <laughs> He's going to be like, wait, what? <laughs> Oh, man, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Hey, dude. I'm down here now. What up? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, yeah, I took a tumble, man. I went for it. <laughs> oh, my God. We come across another one. Oh, I need a heal before I do that. Um, actually, might be able to just walk over this one. This one's not that big of a problem anyway. But guys, I think this video has been going on for long enough. We didn't really get into any combat, which is unfortunate. Um, there was a few moments where I got to dodge some people, and we did we did try. I guess we got into combat when we tried to uh, attack that um, that uh, the flyer right out in the middle of the ocean. And if I had the barrel roll, I do think we would have actually uh, probably killed him. If I had to take a guess, as we were we were fairly big when that at that moment back back in that part of the episode but i have uh, successfully managed to kind of conquer the river systems here in uh in gondwa there's a lot of cool places i would still love to check out like over here and uh, maybe even take a long journey here like that looks like a cool inland river uh, system that you can't really get to unless you walk so let me know if you're interested in seeing another episode we do have this fully grown um kaiwikia now that had to have fun with um, so I want to get some hunts. I want to do some stuff. I, I probably will have another episode coming out, but let me know uh, what exactly you guys want to see in that episode. Um, but yeah, this has been a fun episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that ending there. That was that was just ridiculous doing the land crossing, going up and down waterfalls. Just absolutely absurd. Um, I had a good time doing it. Uh, I, I recommend you don't try that because it took way too long, but maybe go for some waterfall dives. That was pretty fun. <laughs> just make sure you stick your landing. Uh, I... Kind of did. I probably would have given myself a four on that landing there because he, he hurt himself a little bit. But yeah, guys, from uh, me and uh, Bub here. Air, air, air. Yeah, <laughs> from me and Bub. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Until next time, I have been Jay. Peace out, guys.